So then, uh, after many hours of um, uh, sorting this out and work, finally managed to get the binnacle all sorted out for the DeLorean. Um, it's all been recovered. Um, it was a bit of a nightmare, actually. I think from the last video I did, um, I thought it was going to be just dead easy. But it's this little thing on the inside here, this, this black piece just here, which might seem quite innocuous and, and simple. But with the extra... Well, uh, the extra thickness added by the sort of leather vinyl cover, it was a real pain in the neck to actually get in. And I've, I've spent quite a long time working at it to actually get it to fit into place. And it's now kind of pretty much in place. I mean, I've got this bit that comes slightly higher up on here, but um, previously on uh, on a couple of cars, I've seen it to be kind of the same. So I'm quite happy with how it looks. Um, all the dials are sort of back in, and I did have problems with the the door jar one not illuminating and rather than it being something to do with the car's electrics which i was suspecting like a a faulty earth um it did actually turn out to be just a simple thing as the one of the wires on the bulb on the led bulb was not actually attached correctly so <laughs> that was at least one good thing so uh putting this back in the car and yeah that's all sorted you can see around the back as well much much improved i mean no cracking nice texture Nice and smooth, and it's bent all the way around, and hopefully it should look pretty damn special in the car. Um, for something that really does, you know, grab your attention because you're driving and using it, yeah, it makes a big difference that it's now looking as good as the rest of it.